All right, it's the day. It is the big Amish auction. We are just arriving. It is 7.15ish, and it is a balmy 45 degrees on May 10th. Blah. Oh, May 10th. My mom's birthday is today, so hey, why not? In the comments below, wish my mom a happy birthday. Um, but yeah, we're here. We're ready to go. I'm uh, going to go out and start recording what we got here, and hopefully... Hopefully we're going to get a lot today, but you guys are going to like this one. This one's huge. And at worst, I get to come home with some Amish baked goods, a pie, some cinnamon rolls maybe. I don't know. It's going to be, there's no, there's no negative today. That is for sure. So, all right, guys, we'll, uh, we're going to see you out there and you guys are going to be in for a treat. So enjoy. See you later. All right. As you can see, a lot of the stuff is covered with tarps because it has been raining. It's been nasty, so there's going to be a lot of box lots going today, it looks like. So it should be good. Not a lot of people here, because it is early, so. What happened? You put all that shit. Don't fall. Nice little piece of furniture there. Nice little primitive cabinet. Should be pretty fun to check out. Look at all those bikes. I ain't gonna show them y'all, but they have lines of bikes. It's a big bike auction too, so if you need a bike, definitely one to come to. Yep, this auction is always good for finding repurposed items, the stuff you can take and uh, make into something a lot better. Because some of the stuff is pretty beat up, but you usually get some good deals, and the way the weather is today. The crowd won't be small because these auctions are never small, but I think it'll push a couple people away that normally would come. Look at these nice lights here. Those are gorgeous. Those are definitely good sellers, something we definitely would be interested in. It's a nice curio cabinet, but again, the weather makes things look a lot rougher than what they actually are. Ooh, if I fall on my butt, it's because it is so muddy out here and nasty. But, like I said, you gotta be here. Oh, see this little elephant toy box here. When I go on the other side, I'll show you. Actually, a super rare piece here. All right, we're going on the other side here just to show you guys. I'll show you this stuff over here, but also when we get to the other side, I'm going to show you that elephant toy box. My parents had one in the store and ended up selling for a really good chunk of money, more than you would expect for a, a toy box. So. But yeah, check that out. Ever come across something like that? Take a look at it, they're nice. Yeah, it is gonna be a cold one today. Look at the skies up there. Yeah. Not gonna be the most flattering, but that is what I do. We're out in the rain. Oh, look at that piece of wood. It looks like a phone, maybe. Nice wash tub. Nice little crock hanging back there. Yeah. Nice. A 
Lots of chairs. Oh, lots of mud. Yeah, so sorry if it's a little shaky. We're kind of walking in some uneven ground here, but we're gonna head into this tent here. It's usually filled with tons of furniture, as you all see. Lots of mud, of course. All right, here we go. Nice trunk coming up. Right there. Oh, yeah. See, the best part about these auctions, too, is the Amish will bring in some furniture to sell. So there'll be some homemade Amish furniture as well. Sewing machines, not bad, but they need the cast iron base. Those are the ones that sell. Nice little small display cabinet. Bunch of steins. Excuse me, bud. Nothing in there. Must be that guitar that was on the other side. A little gun cabinet. A chest of drawers. It's like a nice little shadow box. As you see all this room I have up here to maneuver, but look at these. Look at this little buffet cabinet. That is a beautiful piece. I said there are so many nice pieces. Another cast iron sewing machine here. There we go. Sorry for my finger making it in there. Some old books there. Oh, just sunk in some mud. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Sorry about that. Nice little coat rack. That looks like they're laying some sawdust down, so that's going to help out. Whew. That looks like we're trapped in. We're going to walk over here. Oh, okay. Take a look back here, and then we'll come back up front. Another cast iron based. Another singer. Normally, you get them for pretty cheap. But some of these auctions, they go sky high. How you doing? Good, thanks. We're going back to my nurse. Look at this humongous desk. Oh my gosh. Jeez. You're right, records we do really good with at the shop like really really good because vinyl's coming back and that's surprising who hasn't picked up on it yet but man we sell records like you wouldn't believe out of the shop <laughs> nice rocking chair tables some John Deere signage which is always nice Another trunk. I said there is just so much here. It was unbelievable. Alright, got a fall model tractor, pedal tractor. Alright, we're gonna head out here somewhere the Amish made furniture I was talking about. And we're gonna head out to the other side, so see you guys in a minute. Alright. Kinda went halfway through because as you can see, it is nasty out here. So, uh, like I said, lots of lots of equipment out here.
over here. If we need a lawnmower. That's the whole other side. Lawnmowers, tillers, snow blowers. Whole other side. I don't need to show you the other side because that is the whole other side. Lawn equipment. Everything. I mean, it's. There's hundreds. But yeah, like I said, too many. Well, there's obviously antiques out here, but not any crazy amount. This is if you need a tool, they have a scaffold, wheelbarrows, everything. Are you looking to build a house? They'll auction off all that wood back there. They won't have a problem doing it, and it'll sell for a good amount of money. All right, we're gonna take a ride to their side. Like I said, there's not a ton of antiques this way. So I spot, I do wanna show you guys everything they have here. Big Super 8 entrance sign. A bunch of lawn bricks and lawn ornaments, shutters sell really well at the shop, but those are plastic or metal. Usually the wooden ones are the ones that go well. But those ladders under there, wooden ladders, sell them all the time. Really cool pieces, people love. Doors, windows, like I said, it's a lot of a lot of home improvement stuff. We're gonna head to the other side here in a minute. Oh, there we go. All right, some more farm equipment over here. There's just a little bit of walking over here. So I get up here and look how nasty that is, but yeah, I say guys, this is a long video I know, but there's just so much stuff here. It is crazy. Chicken feeders. And here is the school. Horse collars. There we go. That's all horse equipment. Can you believe that? Unreal. So we're gonna head back over to the other side. Like I said, guys, yeah, I'm not gonna go through everything over here because this is a lot of stuff we won't even be by today. But I'll be out here a little bit, but not much. A couple of the signs are kind of cool. A lot of this is a farmer's paradise, not an antiquer's paradise. So yeah, we're gonna go through a little bit here. I'll make sure I get, uh, I gotta go through on my own actually, and go get a good look on my own without looking through a camera. <laughs> they sell flowers and of animals throughout the two days they'll be auctioned off and like I said it's a little bit of everything it's just so big all right all right day one is in the books uh, we actually did pretty well today as you can see we got a uh, uh, ceramic frog it's a piggy bank it's humongous something we'll be able to sell in the store real easy if you've seen in the video, you've seen the elephant toy box I told you a little bit about. We ended up getting a sweet deal on that. That was a, definitely one of the good items we got today. We got a couple of small $2 items. We got the plant stand. We got a nice little uh, desktop showcase we put in the shore, put them on top, put some knickknacks in them. They work out really well. Not super old, but we got the, it's a record player, tape player. Uh, I think it's an eight track player, radio, it all works. Something really cool that you know people use nowadays. Like I said, it's not super old, but it's definitely something collectible people use. And then the gem we got today is this gorgeous enamel table with the extensions. Has four matching chairs that go with it. Definitely one of my favorite pieces we got today, along with the elephant. Um, another sweet deal on that. All the stuff's gonna be going into the shop this week, so hope to see you there. And then tomorrow is day two 
of the auction which has tons of antiques i'll have another video up showing you guys the stuff that's there for that this one is fun like i said i had so much fun today i was there from 7 a.m till 3 p.m uh my shoes were muddy caked in mud tomorrow it is boots whole new wardrobe on because i was drenched in water but it was awesome wouldn't change it for anything can't wait till tomorrow so guys if you guys could like always like this video or give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and comment below if there's anything you see at the auction that was brought back a memory i mean it was it was a fun one i hope you guys had a good time as much as i did so like always guys get your antique fix on m66 see you guys later